Hello everybody and welcome to Comic Time. I am Rainbow Red Panda and this is Norton and we went to the comic book store. Um, we went to the store and it was a little disappointing this week. I had a total of three books um, that were new that I got and everything else um, I ended up getting just because I wanted to catch up on something or something like that. So I went, there were three new books that I wanted and I think I got maybe a couple others um, and then the rest were just back issues. So. Here's what I got to start with. Um, I got Anne Bonnie number three. Um, somehow I missed this issue. So they had number three and then they also had number four. It came out in the last week or two. So I have now had Anne Bonnie number four as well. Um, it's made by Blue Juice Comics, the same people that do the Accelerators comic. Um, it is like an all ages comic and it's really good. I've read, I think I've read the first two issues, if not definitely the first one. And I really enjoyed it, but I haven't gotten to finish the series. So now I have, I have one, one through four. Um, so I can I can finish up what they have. Um, over the weekend, I acquired Secret Wars number one, so I went ahead and got Secret Wars number two, number three, and number four. Um, so I'll get those. Number four just came out today, I believe. At least it was in the new release section. So I got it, um, but I had to get two and three also. Also the set second printing of number two came out, but it's really weird because even Midtown had a ton of extra number twos from the first printing. So second printing's out, but the first printing is still out too. So if you're interested in either one of those, it's available. Um, I decided that since I was going to catch up on Secret Wars that I was going to catch up on this because they also had both issues. Um, it is X-Men Years of Futures Past instead of Days of Futures Past. So this is number one, and then number two supposedly came out today as well. So I figured I have Days of Futures Past, I might as well get the Years of Futures Past and see how they, if they're anything similar. I'm not really sure. I guess in my mind, this isn't accurate at all, but in my mind, um, Battle World is sort of starting everything over, and so the stories are going to be similar. Um, I know it's not probably accurate at all, but I'm going to read it and figure out what comes out next. And Next time I have things to catch up on, I'm probably going to finally get Old Man Logan because I look at it every single time and I still never get it, but I'm going to probably maybe next week or the next time that I only have three or four comics to get. Um, this is another one that came out a few weeks ago. I didn't get it the week that it came out. Um, I learned about it being out right after I left the comic book store and then I sort of just kept forgetting about it, but I really wanted to pick it up because... Um, I'm friends with the writer and I just really wanted to pick it up to support him. So it's Sensation Comics featuring Wonder Woman. Um, it's written by Josh Elder and it's writ illustrated by Jamal um, Igle who does uh, Molly Danger, which I really like that series as well. So um, I know both of them, so I really wanted to make sure that I got this comic. So if you guys haven't checked this out, I'm not usually, I have nothing against Wonder Woman, but I don't read a ton of Wonder Woman stuff. So this is one of the few Wonder Woman comics that I will, I will have um, and I'm looking forward to reading it. And then on to the three that I picked up new today. I read one of them so far and I was really sad about it. Um, we have Groot number two. It came out, I still haven't read Groot number one but I probably will today. Um, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl number seven, which I am caught up on this one as well. I'm really excited to read it. I really like Squirrel Girl. I also saw that um, in Midtown they have a Squirrel Girl t-shirt now. I probably won't get it, but it's it's really fun. Um, so if you're a Squirrel Girl fan, that's available now. And then the one that I did read is Chew number 50. And at the end of this, first of all, I don't, I understand the ending, but I'm really confused as to why that was the ending. Um, so I'm hoping that in 51 in the next arc they really go through and explain that. But also in the end, um, in the, like, letter to the fans, they, so, I don't know if it's an announcement or if it's just that I just now learned about it, but Chew's ending. Um, they have ten issues left plus one more Poyo special. And then apparently that's the end of Chew, which that really makes me sad because Chew is one of my favorites. Um, I jumped, I finally, um, jumped on the Chew bandwagon over a year, a little over a year ago now. Um, I bought, like, trades one through five maybe? And then I've been getting the single issues ever since, and I'm really sad to see it see it end soon. I mean, 10 issues is a while. With the way that Chew comes out, it's every month, and then they take a few months in between. So this time next year, it'll probably just be wrapping up. But that's still, like, I wanted Chew to go on forever. 
Um, 50 issues is a long time though, so that's that's good for them, but I wanted to keep going. So if you're a true fan and you didn't know, that's ending. The card game also still is not out. We want to go find it finally this weekend. Card game is not out yet. It says that it was supposed to be out in May, but it isn't. So you guys need to work on that at IDW because I want to play that really bad. Um, so those are all the comic books that I got. Um, definitely plan on doing some reading over the 4th of July weekend. And I will be back next week with more books. So bye.